Our next caller is Jack from Missouri. Hey, what's up, Jack? How, how can we help you? Hey, what's up, guys? How are you doing today? Good, man. Good. All right. So, um, quick background to start. Uh, I'm a 20 year old um, college student right now. Um, I've been lifting for about six years, but um, the first three were in high school, and it was mainly centered around football and um, basketball and track. So it wasn't necessarily all calculated out. It was more performance based. Um, but um, so I left or I entered my senior year at 280. Um, I was a D tackle, so I was eating everything I could see. So um, left or entered that year 280. Um, right now I'm about 190, but the lowest I got was 175. But I've been for about the past six months, I've been reverse dieting and on a bulk and I've gotten the calories up from about 1800 at the beginning based off some skewed thing I saw online to 3500 right now. And that is about a couple hundred over my maintenance. But um, adjusting to getting in 3500 has been a little bit difficult. And some days I'll get home later than expected. And I don't really feel like putting down two pounds of meat or um, six cups of rice or some shit like that. So I don't, and I miss out on the calories that day. So my question is if I uh, don't reach the calorie macro goal um, for one day and hit under by about 600 or more, give or take, um, should I try and make those calories up? the next day and add them to what I was already planning on eating or should I try and disperse it out throughout the rest of the week or should I just um, omit it and call it good? First of all, Jack, you're, you're kicking ass, dude. Um, and say, did you say you're 20? I am 20. You sir. sound like a, like a man, man. <laughs> like, right? Does he not, does he not sound like, he doesn't sound 20 to me for some reason. Yeah. You don't sound 20, bro. Yeah. Well, you got up to what, 280, you said? Yeah, like, yeah dude. Like, no, you're, you are, beast. you're doing but, phenomenal right now. Yeah, that's now. a huge increase in your caloric intake yes, and dude, maintaining. That's, uh, that's phenomenal. Very, very yeah, good. Yeah, I should have, I should, thank you very much. I should never have been that low. I'm pretty sure I saw something uh, when I was starting out, um, beginning of quarantine, that said like 1600 calories was what I should be eating being six four and two eighty, that is not what I should have been eating. So. No, no, but you're in a you're in a great place, and uh, it would be interesting to hear what the other guys add. But I actually wouldn't worry too much about those days. And, and the only thing that I would caution you, okay? So what ha the, this happens to me when I'm bulking, and I know sometimes it's hard. Like I've been up to places where I'm pushing four or five thousand calories, and then I'd have those moments where I'm like, shit. I can't, I'm a thousand calories behind and I'm already fooled. Like, do I stuff myself? No, I'm not going to stuff myself. But what I always notice on those days when I go to bed lighter on calories, the next day, I my, the appetite like kicks up. And then that's also the times where I, I tend to play this game in my head where I go like, well, I was a thousand calories low yesterday. I'm starving right now. So today I'm going to swing by and get that double bacon cheeseburger and fries that I really wanted that I haven't had in a long time. And you, you kind of play that game and you tend to go off your plan because you're so hungry and you make worse. Other than that. If you actually stay on the diet the next day and you eat good and you're solid, I actually wouldn't even worry about the day or two here and there that you actually don't hit your target. Yeah, you're, you're overthinking it, 100%. You're, you're, you're doing a great job. Um, I mean, unless you have a specific, like, targeted goal where you're like, okay, I'm going to gain this much lean body mass by this point, or I'm going to get on stage. Oh, yeah, that's a different Or I'm going to compete. But if you're... If your goal is just, you know, you want to keep doing this, you like it, you enjoy it. it sounds like you do. You've been doing it for five years. You started as, as a 15 year old and you're, you're 20 now. So you've probably built pretty good consistency, discipline, and you probably have a good relationship with it for the most part, just because you started so young. I think you're overthinking it, man. Don't worry about it. Now, some days are going to be lower. Naturally, you'll probably make up for it on other days. But I mean, you got your calories over 3,000 and you feel good. And on some days it feels like you're, it's maybe too high. Yeah, don't worry about it, dude. You're yeah. doing fine. Listen to your body. Keep going on the track that you're going on because what you don't want to do is create a kind of stressful environment around your food where you're like, oh my gosh, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm under calories. Do I stuff myself? How do I make up for this tomorrow? Do I spread this out over the next whatever days? You're 20. 
you're 20 years old. Like that, this is a type of stress that why, why add this to your life? You're doing absolutely fine. I would seriously not worry about it for the most part. You're based on what you're telling me, you're crushing, you're kicking ass. Sounds like you're getting a lot of it from whole foods too. Are you supplementing at all? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get a lot from Whole Foods. It's kind of on the college budget, so it's just uh, cheapest I can do right now is just a shit ton of chicken thighs. But um, but yeah, I'm supplementing. I'm just taking, uh, I mean, fish oil, creatine, uh, protein, pre-workout, kind of like the basics, um, ashwagandha, multi. Um, I actually ordered um, some uh, mastzymes. Um, the other day using your guys code so thank you for that one and so those will add the join the crew but yeah that's about it have you have you tried the enzymes yet i have not no sir yeah i'd like to hear your feedback on on how that helps with digestion especially Mm -hmm. when you're pushing calories it made a big yeah yeah that's exactly what i was going for because um i mean there are going to be some meals that are um, much greater than the other ones so digestion help would be killer yeah. for but I, I swear to god jack you're you're, you're, you're doing great yeah, yeah you're overthinking yeah, i got it. nothing yeah you're, you're totally overthinking it just you're, you're good if you miss a day because you weren't that hungry or you felt like you had to stuff yourself okay no big deal um you just go back on the next day don't worry about uh, trying to make up for it now here's the other side like what, what adam was saying although he kind of explained it as something that might be negative don't freak out about it, but if the next day you're hungrier and instead of going to 3,300 calories, you go up to 35 or 36, okay, that's okay. You know, our bodies, really, we didn't evolve eating the same amount of calories every single day. We probably ate a lot sometimes and very little other times. There's there, there's probably some health benefits to doing so. Plus, life works itself out that way. There's going to be some days where you're going to want to go out with your girlfriend or hang out with your buddies and you're going to eat a little more and there's going to be times when you're like, you know what, like, here's what happens for me, like... If there's days where we're doing a lot of podcasts and interviews, I like to eat less on those days. I feel sharper. I'm faster on my on my feet, so to speak. Um, and so those days I just eat a little bit less, and it's not that big of a deal. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility on other days to do that. But don't overthink it. You don't want to create this kind of stressful environment around no, no. exercise and nutrition. You're doing so good. The, the only thing, like I said, I would caution is just being aware of your behaviors, right? So I, I know the tendencies that I have when I – under consumed by that many calories on one day is I tend the appetite is kind of roaring. And then that also is what will make me make, I might eat a whole bag of that. If there, I was going to eat a whole bag of chips one day, like that's the day it would happen because I'm, I'm so low on calories from the previous day. Yeah. I'm, I'm hungry right now. And so I go, oh, I'll have a little bit extra calories like Sal's saying, but then a little extra calories ends up being 2000 in carbohydrates. I miss my protein intake for a day. And that's the only, the only thing I can see negative about what you're doing already is if you're aware of that and you know that's the, the the tendencies that you may or may not have and just caution it, pay attention to that, uh, having a, a low day every once in a while it actually is probably very, very, very beneficial yeah. to you. Now, Jack, we like to give people something free when they ask us a question. Do you have, uh, based on what you're saying, you've been working out for a while. Yeah, what program are you You following? probably got a good workout. Uh, are you following any MAPS programs at all? Um, I'm not. I've, uh, I've read about... Um, anabolic, um, strong performance and aesthetic to try and see, um, which one would kind of fit. I, like I told you, I'm in a bulking thing right now. And, anabolic. um, well, with, yeah. with your experience, I would go anabolic or aesthetic. I mean, you've been working out for, for a while now. Aesthetic might even be appropriate for you. So how many days a week are you training? Um, I know this is against your guys' advice, but, uh, seven and i'm doing five lifting and then the other two days i watch your guys's uh the webinar for um mobility uh, mobility yeah and i do the mobility routine i do some cardio and i do some recovery yeah you're doing you're doing good at that either (laughs) you're doing good all right we're going to send you maps aesthetic so if you want to follow one of our programs i think that one will probably be appropriate for someone with your level of experience yeah and awareness That's around okay. Thank you guys. Yeah, so go, go there. And then I, the next one I'd love to see you do is strong. I think strong would be great for where you're at right now. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing great, bro. Yeah. Good job, man. Thanks for calling. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick. Also, um, I know you guys hear it with every single, um, goddamn call you get, but I, you guys have actually like changed my perspective on, uh, health and fitness because you aren't putting out like the normal bullshit, like do this, like for 30 days to drop 50 pounds or some shit. You're putting out stuff that is meant to optimize health and mental health as well. And I think that is killer. And I've put, 
or I've tried to put basically my entire campus onto your guys' podcast. I put my whole family on it. Oh, cool. Um, awesome. Can't get enough ears. So hey. thank you all very much. Much appreciated. Appreciate yeah, that, thank man. you. Appreciate that. the support, Jack. Thank you, bro. Yeah, of course. Take care. All. Yeah. So, you know, what I want to talk about is how his voice made you feel. Yeah. <laughs> did, did he sound like a 20 year old yeah, to you? Dude. Dude, no. He's nothing, a man. No, yeah. Even like the way he talked, his cadence. Was, yeah. it, did, he did not, he sound like just a grown ass man. Did he look, what did he look like, Doug? Did he look like a grown ass man or what? Like yeah, he does. Guy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he doesn't look, uh, you know, 20. old or young. He 20s just, young, yeah. dude. That's, well, he, dude he's, he's way ahead of the. And he's crushing. Yes, he is. He's cr- You know what I like about hearing about something like this is that because he started so young, he started at the age of 15. Mm-hmm. He's stuck with it this entire time. He's at the age of 20. He's where a lot of people will be, uh, you know, with exercise in their 30s uh, because he's now, after you've done it for, if you've done it, if you've worked out consistently for five plus years, that's when you really start to figure things out a little bit, I think, yeah. uh, especially if you have a, a healthy approach. So it's really cool to hear, you know, to hear his, his kind of his input. But yeah, you know, the thing about nutrition and exercise is at the end of the day, uh, it should not add stress to your life. If it does, it can become something that's unhealthy itself. So, you know, if you're doing good and everything's going great, you, you don't want to like freak out because one day is off. That'll do the exact opposite of what you're trying to accomplish with, uh, you know, a fit and healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And even, I mean, I love this guy, dude. The, even his, uh, you know, he was a, he was, yeah. <laughs> that's what a man crush. Yeah. <laughs> even his seven day approach to fitness, I like. Yeah. It was good. Uh, it was good say, right? I, he started to say it like, I know you guys don't like this, but then when he said, I'm like, yeah, but that's five days of resistance training. He's doing mobility two days. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm about it, dude. So I like everything that this guy's doing right now. I think he's got a great uh, relationship with exercise. I think he's got a great strength. I think he, the fact, that he's gone from 1800 calories up to 3000 plus calories yeah. that's that's awesome and then he's actually in a place where he's like oh i'm full for the day like what a great place to be you know uh, the only thing and i just that when i know when i eat low calories like that my body wants to make up for it sometimes the next day and if i if i do stray if i do make a, yeah it's that day yep, you yep. know and you and you kind of play that justification like what totally. you said ah you know i ate way less yesterday yeah. and so yeah five guys two bacon cheeseburgers today i think i'm gonna Ooh, do that <laughs> i might want one of those later what are you doing to me right now adam <laughs>